Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a realistic cauliflower cake. I'm starting here with a real head of cauliflower, which is in fact a flower. I was actually really surprised to find out that the florets of this vegetable really are flowers. Maybe they're not as pretty or fragrant as a rose or a dahlia, but it's a flower nonetheless. <laughs> There are quite a few color variations when it comes to cauliflower, but for this cake, I'm using the white version and that's because it's the most common. Personally, I think that the purple cauliflower is probably the most interesting, but when you're trying to make a cake of a vegetable, you probably wanna go with what's common. <laughs> to make this cauliflower as realistic as I can possibly get it, I'm actually using the real cauliflower as a mold as much as I can throughout the process. I'm doing this a few different ways. So you can see that sometimes I brush water onto the wafer paper off the cauliflower, and then sometimes I wet it right on the cauliflower. I don't really have a preference either way. I'm just sort of on autopilot when I'm working, and I take a couple different approaches without really thinking about it too much. I love this technique. I think it is fantastic and super effective. And it's actually very similar to a realistic romaine lettuce cake that I made a while back. So I'll put a link in the description so that you can check that video out too. Now I'm going to work on the head by stacking layers of vanilla cake with green vanilla buttercream. A lot of people ask why I use green buttercream. And the reason is because my cakes get a lot of shares on social media and sometimes my videos and my images aren't credited or the watermark gets cropped out. So I decided to fill my cakes with green buttercream because it's just such an unusual color for buttercream. And that way you know that it's an authentic side serve cake when a cake is cut and you see that green. It also matches the colors in our logo. So overall, the green buttercream is kind of a branding thing. After carving the cake into the shape of a cauliflower head, I give the whole thing a crumb coat with more buttercream. More buttercream makes the cake better for eating, but it also gives my modeling chocolate a surface to stick to when I apply it to the cake. Now this is where the magic happens. Remember when I said I wanna use that real cauliflower as much as possible? Well, here I have some food safe molding putty and I'm applying it directly to the cauliflower florets to capture all that amazing detailed texture. This is the coolest part about this cake. I'm so happy with all the nooks and crannies that that mold was able to pull from the cauliflower. It almost looks like it could be the surface of the moon or something, doesn't it? <laughs> I am confident that I'll be using this cauliflower mold for non-cauliflower cakes in the future. Now, as with 99% of my cakes, <laughs> I'm using modeling chocolate rather than fondant to cover my carved cauliflower cake. I wouldn't recommend using fondant for something like this because I just don't think that fondant will hold the detail of that mold quite as well as modeling chocolate. If you're unfamiliar with modeling chocolate, I have a tutorial on this very channel showing you how you can make it at home. I honestly love this so much. I can't get over it. I'm gonna be thinking about this mold for weeks. <laughs> I wanna add some depth to the florette texture, so I'm emphasizing the deep creases with a paintbrush. I'm also going around and adding some more florets where the seams are. Again, I'm using my brushes and tools to blend everything. Now back to the stems. I'm using a blade to carefully peel away the wafer paper from the real leaves. I let it sit overnight to make sure that the edible wafer paper is nice and dry. If it's even just a little bit wet, it is incredibly difficult to peel the wafer paper off of the leaves. I know from experience. <laughs> I always love peeling the wafer paper off the leaves. It honestly looks just like real leaves. Love it. 
To get these stems to stick to the cauliflower and to have a bit more structure, I'm filling the thickest part of the stem with modeling chocolate. Then I add a little bit more texture to the ends with a hard bristle brush. Then I take some more gel food color and I paint on some very subtle striations, some shadows and highlights. I'm trying my best to replicate what I see in the real cauliflower as best I can. This just helps make the stems and leaves look even more realistic. After I have the wafer paper leaves reinforced with my modeling chocolate stems, then I just go around the base of the cake and I apply them using very gentle pressure. I am being very careful not to dent or smush the stems, so I use my sculpting tools to get into those really hard to reach areas underneath the cake. And there you have it, a realistic cauliflower cake. Mom says you have to eat your veggies, so let's have a slice. <laughs> I love this cake. I am pleasantly surprised by this cake. I am pleasantly surprised that I love this cake. I post a new cake video like this one every Monday, and I cannot wait to get started on next week's cake. It is going to be amazing. Subscribe to this channel right now so you don't miss it.